computer science is about the study of how to use computers to solve real world problems. So let's take for example what happens when you enter a search term into Google. Now once you enter the search term, we have to somehow get these search terms all the way to the servers, possibly in the US. Okay, so these large computers in the US. Now once it's there, the computers have to search through billions and billions of records to find that maybe 100 records that actually match what you want. Okay, and then from there, we, it has to get all of this information back to Singapore where you can look at it. Now, this, you know, it, it's really not a trivial problem at all because if you think about it, how do you, for example, if you had a billion records, how do you find just 100 records from that billion in 0.3 seconds, right? It, it's crazy, right? And that's exactly what computer science does. It's all about solving problems, whether large scale problems like, you know, uh, Google or smaller scale problems like solving Sudoku. So I think we can all agree that our economy and society is becoming more and more digital. Computer science is affecting the way we live and improving the way we do things more and more. Now when I was a student, I had to go all the way to the library, I had to look up journals, thick journals and thick textbooks in order to finish my project. And then I have to photocopy stuff, staple them all together, write out my report and submit the physical copy of my report to my professor. I actually have to walk to my professor's office and submit it. Today, all we have to do is to search online and then we can get all the resources we need to finish our projects. And we can get video clips, we can get pictures, we can make our projects look extremely exciting and very, very informative. And then we can submit it electronically to our professors right from the comfort of our homes. It's, all of this is made possible through computer science. Now, you may also wonder, well, what other areas is computer science used in? Let's talk about construction. Now, you may or may not know this, but in order to keep the buildings that you live in safe, regular building inspection is actually something that's very important. And we are now able to save tens of thousands of man hours by using drones to fly around, take pictures of buildings, and then using artificial intelligence to see whether or not these buildings are safe. Now, the other area, of course, where computer science is really very important is in delivering your online shopping. So you buy something in China, or you buy something from other countries and then you get it shipped to Singapore and once it's in Singapore, logistic partners use computers to optimise their driver's routes so that we can get all of these things to you as quickly as possible. So these are just some of the areas where computer science has made a deep impact not just on our economy but also on our society and even on ourselves in the way that we live and the way that we do things. We really want to emphasise on fundamentals. The reason behind this is that we don't just want you to be great implementers. If you want to be a great implementer, there's lots of courses online where you can learn all of this stuff like programming. Instead, what we want you to be is a great innovator. Now for that reason, in the first two years of the program, we focus a lot on fundamental ideas like mathematics, where you learn to prove ideas and to prove you know, uh, concepts. We of course learn programming methodology, where you learn how to apply problem solving skills to write computer programs to solve real world problems. We learn how to organize data in ways where we can retrieve this data efficiently. We also learn ideas behind operating system design, computer security, and many, many other important fields. Now, of course, we don't just want you to be generalists. We want to also give you the opportunity to specialize. For that reason, we have 10 focus areas. Now, an example of one of our focus areas is artificial intelligence. In artificial intelligence, you learn how to build smart systems like self-driving cars and also cool robots like this one that almost approach human intelligence. Now, yet another exciting area is game development. In game development, you not only learn how to build cool games that people enjoy, but you also acquire the skills to build training software in industries that are potentially dangerous to train in, for example, in medicine and in petroleum. We also offer you great internship opportunities in large MNCs and SMEs, both locally and overseas. And this, in turn, gives you the opportunity to experience what computing is like in the real world in businesses, whether large or small businesses. Computer science has made a great impact in many, many industries. For example, in banking and finance, in medicine, in entertainment, and even in construction and agriculture, which we don't normally associate with computers. Your computer science degree opens up opportunities in almost every industry. It is truly an all-access path. 
Our graduates move on to work in many, many different companies, whether large multinationals or even local companies. And many of our students have moved on to become Chief Technology Officers or Chief Executive Officers and other senior positions. Now, if this is not your cup of tea, it's all right. If you have an idea that might change the world, we will give you the training and the resources to start your own company. Does all of this sound intimidating to you? Don't worry, most of our students come to us with absolutely no background in computing. We will provide you all of the fundamental knowledge and all of the resources that you need to become a great computer scientist. In information systems, we take existing technologies and we integrate it with businesses. Whereas in computer science, we develop new technologies and then we advance the field so that we can now do things in a faster and more efficient way. In computer science, the focus is a lot more on algorithms and the software aspect of things. Whereas in computer engineering, well, you do learn somewhat similar things, but the focus there is going to be much more on integration with hardware. Now, to find out more about our exciting programs, do come by and visit our website as well as watch our other videos.